Oh, hey, look, a person. An orc. Grogro Grobagol. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I said we were going to pick up with being back at the Fighters Guild, but I figured we'd look around for this guy's witch for a little bit uh, just to get rid of him, because I don't want him to die. I want to get his crotch where it belongs. But I found this guy, so let's talk to him. Hey, you. You're not one of them town bosses, right? How about you help me, huh? I'll give you a present. Um... I met an orc in the woods north of Caldera named Bugroll. Seems he's on the run from the town guards, or town bosses as he calls them. I'll talk to you later. I'm meeting so many people that I'm gonna have to talk to at a different time because I just don't know enough about them yet. This looks like the entrance to a witch's den if I've ever seen one. Kudanat. He didn't give me any indication. I feel like it's just gonna be an outside thing, but also I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at all the rats! I've never seen this many. Oh my gosh, they're also invincible. Did I hit you? I'm sorry. Yeah, let's kill these rats. Here, you take that one. Oh gosh, please don't die to a rat. Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead? No? There you go. Ugh, this thing. Oh, I resisted it. Nice. Alright, this is the only other place I'm finding that's in the northwest direction. I've walked around for like 10 minutes, so let's try... Kudanat. There's a person. Are you gonna attack me? Yep. Falion. You're gonna definitely mess me up, aren't you? Yeah, let's just let you do that, and I'll just... Oh wait, my save's actually really far away. Why can't I run? Let's leave. Let's leave. That was... that was a bad idea. I don't think that's where we were supposed to go. <laughs> You're not doing anything. Oh, here's another thing. To band egg mine. I don't think that's where it would be. You know what? I'm gonna do that thing where you just consult a holy book called the internet and look it up. Because I don't want you to die. There's no reason you should die. Also, I want your axe. So when I looked it up, it said to just follow the road north, and I will run in to the witch he is speaking of. This seems pretty north to me, so hopefully I'll run into her. Oh my gosh, is it- did I find you? You're so far away. Is it you? Okay, cool. So, Socia Caristiana. Hello there, stranger. I see you've already met my good friend Hjolmar. My name is Socia Caristiana, the healer. How can I be of assistance to the two of you? wonder what happened if I talked to her first. Are you interested in the healer's trade in Morwind? Maybe you should talk with Yigfa at Fort Plagiad in Plagiad Village. She's very nice, experienced, and very patient with questions. Oh, I'm definitely going to talk to them. I want all the healing spells. We Bretons are natural magicians and born with a high resistance to destructive and dominating spells. Many great sorcerers have come from our home province of High Rock. So let's ask about Hyomar. Ha! A right funny story that one is. The true story, Revan, is that I took Hyomar on as a traveling companion for protection only for the road to Caldera. Along the way, he was getting entirely too friendly for his own good, to the point where I actually had to cast a sleep spell on him. Just to teach him a lesson in manners, I stripped him and left him on the road. And to be sure he didn't come after me for retribution, I took that cloud cleaver he's always fawning over as well. Oh, I don't think he's ready to get it back quite yet. I can still see the rage burning in those tiny Nord eyes of his. 
However, if he meets me in three days at the Mage's Guild Hall in Caldera, I will return everything I have of his, but not a minute sooner. Tell him that is Silcia's offer. You've heard my offer, and it will not change. Okay. <coughs> so let's see what the journal has to say before I talk to him. We have met up with the supposed witch at her camp. Supposed? Her name is Socia Caristiana, a healer, and the story she tells is decidedly different from that of Hjalmar. Socia Caristiana says that she accepted Hjalmar Winesop merely as a traveling companion for protection, but when he got too friendly, she was forced to put him to sleep and takes things to teach him a lesson. Socia refuses to give back his property immediately, but will meet him in three days at the Kildera Mage Guild and return everything then. I mean, it kind of seems like a fairish offer, but like, what if she leaves? Let's talk to Hjormar. Hjall I don't I don't know how to pronounce your name. Well, I'll not be waiting another three days to have me bloody axe when it is in the hands of that damned witch. Are you going to help me, friend? Or are you believing the lies spilling out of that witch's face? Um... Honestly, I think I have to side with her. She's seeming more reasonable. I don't know, I feel like you're untrustworthy. Friend. R. Uh, it literally says that in the thing. I can still ask him about Soul's time. <laughs> you're right, I guess. I should've. I mean, you're naked. Ugh. No. Get up. No. Get up. <laughs> that was easy. He literally doesn't even have anything. I'm sorry to hear that he is dead, but he was a fool. Such is the way fools meet their end, and I will take Cloud Cleaver to one who can handle its power. Homer's obsession with that axe led to his death. I'll leave it with someone who can use it well. I thank you for your help, stranger. I think that hothead would have killed me had you not intervened. Here, take these potions as my gift to you, and seek me out if you ever require my services in the future. But I don't get the axe? But... But I want the axe. So, Hyamar was not pleased in the least to hear that he could not have his items back immediately, and demanded that I choose a side. I have chosen a side with Socia. Socia was so grateful to me for my protection that she gave me three potions as a reward. I'm glad to see that she can live another day to help those in need. Yeah, I, I think I'm happy with that outcome. I think I did the right thing. I think. Now I gotta find my way back. Thankfully, there's so many signs. Woo! I think it's this way. Yeah! You. Why? Is there something on the floor? Take me to the Balmora Mages Guild. Oh, Outlander. Did you want something? Nope, I'm already here. I don't even need the Mage's Guild, I need the Guild of Fighters. I like that I just use the Mage's Guild to travel to the Fighters Guild. Why is that? You got all four? Good. That'll make some people at Caldera Mining Company very happy. Here's 400 septums. Caldera Mining Company pays well. When you're ready for more orders, let me know. I got 400. Nice. Give me some more orders. I need someone to return a code book that belongs to our client. Tell me about this code book. The code book our client wants is in the hands of Sotild at the South Wall in Balmora. Find that code book and bring it back to me. Sotild at South Wall? In Balmora? I'm in Balmora. I reported killing the Telvanni agents, and Aedas Fire Eye paid me 400 gold. Aedas FireEye asked me to get a code book from Sotild at the South Wall in Belmora. Well, I guess we're not gonna do the Mage Guild quest today. We're gonna do this one. Where was the South Wall Corner Club? At the South Wall? I think I'm going the right direction. I think this is it. I think I went right to it. Yeah. Look at me. Knowing stuff. Oh look, so Tilde is literally the first person in here. Now I remember talking to you. What about this code book? What code book? I wouldn't talk to you about that sort of thing. Oh. Am I just supposed to like beat it out of you? Just says to get the code book from you. Anything you wish, Revan, you know I like you and want to help. In fact, with a good friend like you, I might even be persuaded to gossip about a little secret. Talk to ev 
That's not a good secret. How do I get this code book? If you are diseased, people will like you less. I literally had to give her 300 gold to raise her disposition so she'd give it to me. Okay, friend, you know about the code book. I don't want any trouble with you, so just take it. Just don't tell anyone I gave it to you. So Tilda agreed to give me the code book. Yeah, pfft. After a lot of persuasion. Can I read the code book? I'm guessing it's in code. Yep toy all-wheel drive and back into the fighters guild we go well i did that thing you wanted have you recovered that code book yet i've been waiting too long for it i did i'm glad to see that code book revan hand it over and i'll get your payment uh i'm gonna keep it i'll give it to you 50 septums revan the guild needs more like you obedient and efficient if you want more orders just ask Totally forgot I was shouting the name Revan. I need to start doing that again. Took the code book from me. Cool. Aedas Fire, I thanked me and took the code book. Gave me 50 gold. That's so much less than last time. Hey, I'm now Revan, the swordsman. You have any more orders for me? Helavien de Cell owes one of our clients 200 septums. Deliver de Cell's debt money to me. Ooh. Okay. Helvian Decel runs a corner club in Suran. She owes Manos Othraleth, one of our clients, 200 septums. Bring this money to me and I'll let you keep half of it. Okay. Adis told me that Helvian Decel in Suran owes Manos 200 gold. I must get this debt money from Decel and return it to Adis. That seems easy enough. I don't have to bribe someone, I guess. I'm going to end that one there, though, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next episode of The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Anyway, uh, yeah. Bye.